So, all right, let's see you're already playing, so just keep on jamming for me. Um, okay, so the very first thing is you talk to the artist, you see them, okay, they're good, they got their headphones on, they can hear you talk, you're communicating with them, letting them, letting them know, okay, keep playing, so they're not standing there wondering what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, the next thing is I'm going to come down the line here and check all my buttons and make sure nothing's pressed in that shouldn't be. We're good there. No sands, no volumes, okay? Next thing is I'm going to hit A so that when I do get sound from these two channels, it's going to go to mix A. Cool. Let's push those up to Unity. I'm going to take these pans out because we're listening to music out of there. <laughs> mix A is up. Monitor volume's up. Now I'm going to start getting some preamp gain and record enable these inputs so I can see the levels. If I press command two, it opens up the mixer window and I can put it on the other side there. That's pretty nice. So you can see your mixer and your tracks window at the same time. Uh, what's my optimal level for recording, everybody? Minus 12. Minus 12. Yeah, nice. So I'm going to just dial in these preamps until it's minus 12. And if Logic ever does this, it keeps doing this for some reason, panning out the tracks. Just option click it. It doesn't really matter. It just drives me crazy that it does that. And it'll matter when you play it back. Give me just like a real solid kind of a groove or something. <sighs> Maybe even some long notes. Pretty good levels. And I'm not so worried about the levels today as much as the phase. But I always want to get good levels. All right, now let's turn off the metronome. So that's out of phase. Listen to this. There it is. Feel all that low end come in. Everything got focused. Out of phase. In phase. Imagine you're trying to record bass with a band and a drummer, and it's out of phase like this. You can't feel your bass line. It's going to be hard to play along, right? So we get it in phase right here, and it helps the performer. It's a little buzzy, but I think that's just that. Those are single coils on that bass, so it's fine. Yeah. In, in, in this instance, there's no way of moving the microphone closer because of the technology to get the wiring. <laughs> it's always going to lag some, so a phase shift is the way to fix it. It's the only way because just the DI is just faster. Yeah, because we can't move the mic. It would make it worse. Though. It, it won't affect it because the round trip of, from the DI to the amp out the speaker to the mic it takes longer than the DI. Yeah, it's a fresh little weight there. Yep. Awesome. That's great. Uh, why don't you go ahead and just set that somewhere safe and come on in and, and hang out with us? All right. So. I recorded the first one out of phase, second one in phase. We'll listen to it, we'll look at it, we'll try to flip it with a, a plug-in and see if that gets us the same result as flipping it on the preamp itself. Usually with bass. And